We just saw like your color. The double webcam weirds me out. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess one is on top of the laptop. Okay, so it looks like. Hey, can we have a stream. Yeah, a stream is up and running. Okay, so yeah. So anyone here? Oh yeah, we have seven viewers. Hey viewers, what's up? So eight viewer. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we have we have made it to the big time, I think. Can I get this thing open? Yeah. Show the entire screen. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go ahead and post the stream link on Twitter. Is the music also coming? Like the game's music? I'm not hearing it. Okay. It can, yeah, can, hey, viewers, can you hear what Ratskan and all are saying? Oh, wait, wait, I, I, I said I can't hear it. Of course I can't hear it. I have the stream's audio turned off so I don't hear my own voice. Exactly. Oh, right. The music is coming through. I'm just going to mute this. Yeah, you might want to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I just muted it, yeah. Like, yeah, if you want to hear the music, go by the official soundtrack edition thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's our commercialism update of the day. Hmm, okay. I might actually need to... Uh, this, there should be a way to actually get this stuff. Yeah, so to see the chat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did I wait? Did I really just like on autopilot post a link to the stream without actually explaining what it is? You know, after that, that after that one time, I just showed up uh, dressed in ceremonial war paint and <laughs> staring angrily at the camera, messily <laughs> eating tacos one after yeah. the other for an hour. People might want a little bit of warning about what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, here we go. Man, like this streaming stuff really doesn't do justice to the like to our fame rate. Like it's like. It's like at 40 something frames per second right now. So it, so it looks like it feels slower than it actually is. That always bugs me. Oh, because yeah. Like, yeah, everyone is like, you know, you should increase the walk speed. I'm like, yeah, the walk speed is good. But <laughs> it's just, the, you know, like, it's just. It doesn't come through on the yeah. slow FPS. So yeah, yes. like after this, like obligatory to, to, the, con to the countryside, we'll show you the slum levels. That some of you might not have seen the last time, and we also have some preview of the temple levels, which is like it's it's another zone, I guess, inside the city. Yeah, it's the yeah it contains a bit of like rich houses and poor houses, you know, uh, an uh, amalgamation of things. Like slum is pretty much exclusively the poor houses kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and also at the same time, like if you just have any questions, yeah, just go ahead and ask them and we'll uh, respond to them. Uh, uh, it's, it's confirmed that like the viewers can hear like Ratskan and Ross and Mick, right? Yeah, like can can any of our viewers like tell tell us? Oh, uh, I can hear you fine on the stream. Okay. Okay. Mm, yes. Yeah, I'm here too. Oh my God, that's a layering issue. I should probably fix that. Hey, check this out. I'm inside the house. Oh wait. Yeah, we uh heading northwards. So, what we did advertise today was that we would be showing off slum areas, is that correct? Yep, slum areas and like the, uh, like a couple of screens of the new temple levels. Okay. 
Yeah, and obviously, mm. like this is all work in progress. Interesting effect so going on here, where we're we're not actually getting all of what Arvin's saying via the uh, Google chat. So we're going to have to take it on faith that he's communicating useful information, and he's not actually sharing all of our most prized secrets with you guys. <laughs> Hmm, there's the chat. <laughs> Man, I really need to like get a proper desktop, I think. Yeah, I should start another Kickstarter for that. <laughs> another Kickstarter for get the developer a better <laughs> PC. It'd be nice if he could play the PC game that he's designing at some point. Huh? <laughs> yeah, stream the PC game rather. Yeah. I mean, I guess yeah, having a laptop as your primary development machine does like have that as in like uh, because if if it can run on this, then it can run on pretty much every other thing. So that's an advantage, I guess. You're looking well, on don't the you know? Side, of course. Don't you know, Arvind? It's not very expensive to buy and. A top-end gaming PC as long as you took a six-month engineering course and you're <laughs> Mr. Fantastic and you have access to and you have enough Illyrium stored up and alien alloys in and your database. You also live in America. Database, yeah. <laughs> and you live in the United States. It only costs 75 cents to build a top-end gaming machine <laughs> just as good as any alien worm PC, if not 50 yeah. times better. Yeah, Alienware is actually like, yeah, I had my couple of friends who were like, you know, like, uh, they were going abroad to study and they were like, oh yeah, we'll get Alienware. Yeah, like, I think overheating issues are like pretty prevalent on them. Like, all of them are pretty much cursing Alienware now. So I'd probably yeah. stay clear of them at least. I wonder which one's more expensive, Alienware or Macintosh, in terms of power to parts to price? Almost certainly Alienware, like because Alienware has a lot of that, you know, uh, like one three three seven gamers kind of marketing angle. So that pretty much means that we will charge you extortion extortionate amounts. For well, like Macintosh does it all the time, though, just casually. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is that you I, know, like Macintosh. I actually think they're pretty even in price versus actual usability and performance. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, Macintosh perf like parts are like less powerful compared to Alienware. But on the other hand, I think Alienware has a like couple of hundred dollars premium over them. So I guess it's a it's a close contest. Like, I don't know if there's a winner. But yeah, like we should probably pick less controversial topics to talk about, like, <laughs> yeah. like the US oh, presidential elections or something. Yeah. <laughs> Less controversial subject than Alienware and Macintosh. <laughs> uh, well, well, I suppose we could talk about the video game we're designing. <laughs> wow, what a quaint idea. Like, let yeah. me just start the, 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 the oh viewers have already yeah. seen this part for the most part. Let me go ahead and guess that most of the people watching the stream have already seen the slum areas before. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just see. Oh, wait a minute. This is the wrong one. This is the earlier one. This is the one. Mm -hmm. If only I could actually get this thing to pause, you know. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is, um... First, we have, we have some screenshots here uh, of the, the recent, uh, levels we've we've implemented in the game or we're implementing in the game i don't think these are actually um th these weren't really ready to show yet because yeah, they're yeah. not uh yeah you can like uh they're not like in 100 percent playable state yet but like visually they're pretty final like the actual walking and stuff mm -hmm. that's a little bit work in progress but uh, otherwise yeah you can uh, like this is close to how they'll look like apart from the certain few ideas that we have discussed and will implement later in the polishing phase. I know I'm looking at the stream with a pretty terrible lag, but maybe you can zoom in a bit and show it a bit closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll just yeah, hang on a minute. Let me just click. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> we just have budge like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so yeah, this is, uh, I think this much is, uh, this is probably too zoomed in. This is probably close to the camera angle you'll see in the game at one point. Or probably this, yeah. Okay, this is much. Uh, okay, so what we, we saw, what I'm seeing right now is just like a picture of the uh, sort of layer. Yeah. The, the layout graphics. drawing we did. <laughs> oh man, them graphics! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have yeah, to upgrade was... your PC for this. <laughs> yeah, we are we are we are into hardcore dwarf fortress graphics with that one. So yeah, yeah, this is what we, we like. If you are here right now, like, how how much of a lag is it? Because right now I'm looking okay, at the we're just we're, see, we're seeing stuff. it now. We're seeing yeah. it now. So this is probably closer to the zoom level you will see in the game. So what we try to show here is like a city that's probably past its best era and but at the same time like the, like the people are not willing to completely just you know let it pass into like derelictness and ruins. So you have people making some efforts to keep the place more pretty but at the same time since the dynasty and like the local politics ensure that it's not at the same uh, grandiose level it was at before. Mm -hmm. I mean, like these these tiles on the ground aren't just missing; like they're not just absent. Yeah. Uh, probably people have seized them to use as building materials out in the slums, where they can't afford to have people actually construct their houses professionally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was actually meaning to uh, draw them into the next levels, like show a few places where people have used them. Yeah, we're gonna implement like a collectibles mini game where you go around spotting all <laughs> the building tiles that have been reclaimed from very no, not actually. <laughs> that would be hideously boring. Yeah, I was actually like taken aback for a few seconds there. I was like, wait a minute, did I miss this one? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're thinking too, too literal. They have to be flags that shine and have no other purpose. Why would a man pick up flags on rooftops? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Synchronization. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I do um, think it would be we, if if this this whole role playing game set in ancient India thing doesn't pan out, we can use the same engine and graphics for a different game where you play like after the the main events, just like sort of a contractor who goes around uh, trying to uh, account for all building materials misused in other places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought we were also making uh, unrest. The making of the game, the game. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah, that would be pretty meta for sure. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get famous enough to get a movie where like Ratskar and I go on like long monologues and try to make like try to sound very emotional. Yeah, hopefully we get to that point. Yeah. I would love to see like. The direction behind those videos, or some of the someone's off off camera, like no, no, look, look sadder. <laughs> no, no, look, look nerdier, paler, <laughs> no beard, <laughs> <Weird. laughs> <laughs> look more in introspective. You know, like try to like even beard, if you don't think, no, no, wait, more beard. <laughs> yeah, like even if you don't think there's any deeper artistic purpose behind this, just pretend there is and like say something, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, can I just say I actually just really like the screenshot right now. I think that there's a good mix of color. Yeah, and despite like, I, the I, fact I, that we're yeah yeah I like the way that the like, like at least like this is obviously like from a very biased perspective, but I like the way that like the wall is clearly like looks like it's been built in by different people of different level of expertise compared to the houses on both sides. Like true. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I appreciate that as well. Our views have been, yeah, our views have been pretty quiet, like with the questions. Like usually by this point, we would have a fair amount of questions to answer to. Yeah, I think I think the the upshot is that you know we've 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 streamed a, a pretty large amount of times for uh, for uh, really a developer still in progress. Yeah, I think many of the questions have been exhausted by now. Yeah. Like, did you post it on, on our blog as well? Like, mm. I did, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, 
what are the Twitters? Okay. <laughs> the Twitters. The Twitters. My God, like in the past. Yeah, no. uh, dude, this this is a pretty reasonable arc. Yeah. Mm, let me just show you the slum levels again, I guess, with the new sprites and stuff. Yeah, this is also an easy way to find out how to mod the game because it's like, oh wait a minute, it's already in the slums. Right, that's good. already laying out the groundwork for building material inspection contractor simulator 2013. <laughs> yeah, I've st just started making the graphics now. Mm. <laughs> I have it's actually just a, a desk. Yeah. Yeah, I think yes. that we have pretty, like, if you're starting from a pretty solid foundation for that. We're sort of, yeah, we're operating off of the lessons uh, taught by Papers, Please. We're, we're building a, except instead of building a video game about the banality of evil, we're building a video game about the banality of really banal shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty deep message. There is also, uh, visit the construction site level. <laughs> which I, which I'll draw 10 different uh, types of tiles for each will have really really tiny defects <laughs> mm -hmm. the the like these two like. people are supposed to be like facing the other side because it kind of feels like they're ignoring the entire street and like just like yeah yeah those should be facing the other side what's the art process like well and then the ladies also like, yeah probably like a little bit me and Arvin tried to find as many authentic ancient Indian reference material as we can. Yeah. And that's actually a pretty difficult task. Yeah. Because the one thing you can find are pictures of temples and pictures of medieval things. But what's actually ancient Indian is uh, like if you want to know what an ancient Indian house would look like, then that's that's a pretty typical problem. Yeah, but it's it's the kind of thing where like only the most magnificent pieces of architecture are all that's left. So often like yeah, film, basically. Yeah, so often like, like in films, there's some societies where like houses will last forever because people just sort of keep fixing them, and fixing them for some cases actually thousands of years. Uh, that this is not apparently one of those situations. Yeah, I think like the main problem was that India was invaded a lot, as in like a lot of times. So like, so the main problem was that like, since it was mostly, uh, like it was party religion and stuff. So like people just were like, oh yeah, I'm going to just, just break all of the previous stuff and like build the new stuff, like what I do. And, and uh, another problem was that like, okay, many of the Kings were like, they used to found new cities and like, so, so there's often like, you know, so it's a, it's a bit of like, it's a bunch of things why there aren't enough, like common houses and such. Whatever Arvind is saying is chopping up for us terribly again. Yeah, I, think that's I was going to assume that it's 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 very suave, sophisticated and knowledgeable <laughs> and that all of yeah, you are educated. It, it usually is, so it's okay. But <laughs> yeah, it's anyway... My internet connection now, is training. Now we have, I think, quite a nice amount of actually workable reference material. Yeah. And we do we have one comment uh, asking to see a conversation or some or something like that. Uh, it's, it's probably the first time in the stream. Hmm. Uh, like, which conversation should we show? Like, uh, which ones do we have in the game right now? Uh, yeah, we have uh, like pretty much all of them. Like, the question is just like triggering them. So There's we can have uh, a black market one, I guess. Like, but that's a pretty short conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the our usual go to. Uh, Conversation is the one that's like uh, the the at the start of parental mandate. That's mm -hmm. our usual go-to conversation. It is it is kind of amusing uh, to me at this point, just how everybody in the slums is facing the same direction. Yeah, just yeah, just, just to this point, the build. Yeah, because this is the default direction. 
So it, uh, it's almost like you know, there's like some kind of fireworks or something going on at this. Something scene. really interesting is happening just <laughs> to the left of the screen right now. They've, yeah. they've got the combat demo uh, working off to the left of the screen. Everybody's like, "Oh, <laughs> watch that!" Dead. Okay. It's so beautiful. <laughs> ah, still just outside her reach. Yeah. I like how unconsciously I put four of those guys in a complete square, like a dice shape, and now I'm looking at it and I'm going, why would people stand like that? <laughs> yeah, it's probably like some sort of, uh, like they're probably summoning the devil or something. But yeah, like, so what you saw right now was like, this guy won't, uh, like, we, we won't be able to do the thing until we find the medicine. So I'm going to go and get the medicine stuff right now. And then I'm going to talk to this guy again. It's actually a yeah, bit the, better than that. The preliminary map, yeah, that's the sort of thing. For for the transition between the maps we provide Mick and what he produces, just imagine like a game that's released in 1997 as a mod for whatever first person shooter was du jour. And like, <laughs> it's this crappy map, but everybody played it because there was some idea in the game that everyone liked. And then five years later, or eight years later, they produce like an HD 3D like sequel slash riff slash remake and professional level designers sit down and remake that level except cool <laughs> that's basically what's up here it's the difference between two fort quake version and two fort uh tf2 version i was gonna say unless it's dust bowl and then the players weep or at least <laughs> i weep it's beginning to look a lot like Dust Bowl. <laughs> oh, God. Red team wins again. <laughs> so, basically, what I was writing is the uh, level design and the actual graphics drawing process that's in our game, it's actually the same process. I, I begin designing the levels, and then whenever I need a type of building, I draw that building using the references that we've gathered and sl slowly start filling out the level. Actually, I think I... I think I have a few progress pictures of the level that we already showed. Arvind, what do you think about that? Okay, yeah, I'll show, them, what I'll show it to them once you got this. So yeah, there we go. So what you guys saw before was that like I went to this place and got the medicine. So yeah, it will be properly properly signposted once like we get to the second pass of the stuff. So right now, here's what we are doing. So this is a pretty basic conversation, like no advanced drama or any plot spoilers or anything. So what this guy is asking us for is that like I'll just read it out to you. Uh, what do you need, kid? You got jewelry, medicine, naga liver, no questions asked. You've got bread baked this morning. No dirt, no sawdust, just the real stuff. So yeah, your reply options are no thanks and how, how, how much would some medicine get me? So I choose the first option. The guy's like one dose, one half loaf, final offer. So he's like, so I can just say D and then, and it's like, here you go and the offer stands and everything else. As long as you can get your hands on it, we'll have bread for you. You don't want to starve, do you? Um, yeah. So that's a sample conversation. Like this is obviously a very basic conversation with very little uh, dialogue options in it. Yeah, we deliberately picked one without a huge plot spoiler in it. Yeah. Yeah, because at this point, like, there's no guards to, as in, like, script guards to stop you from, uh, like, having a really spoilerific conversation. So yeah, we'd like to avoid that, especially since some plot details might change and and, and you know end up confusing. Like you. Uh, yeah, and also for the next week, we've also prepared a short uh, work in progress trailer, which we'll upload and like post on Kickstarter and stuff. I I do like how these nagas are like you know they they have this like kind of head bobbing. So it feels like they're like listening to the same song and are like you know the beat. It's like. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, this is some really cool beats, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's the iPod Bimra commercial. <laughs> Someone should Photoshop that, like, right now. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, for I tell you, six. The thing is, yes, there are people who do need medicine a lot more than bread, and that's why that's the exchange rate of the black market. But you, as your character, need food more than you need a non-specific remedy that may or may not actually be effective at combating disease. Ultimately, the medicine is more certainly more valuable, and that's why there exchange there exists markets to exchange it. Uh, but it's it, it's not really uh, it's not really useful to you right now. You you definitely are supposed to feel like you're kind of getting ripped off at a rate of one dose of medicine for half a loaf of bread, though. Yeah. It does make me wonder how, how much it goes for in coin, yeah. though. Uh, so you can talk to... Ultimately, in the game, you'll be able to talk to anyone who's, like, accessible, I think. Uh, but they might not have much to say to you. They might, they might you know... I, I'm trying to stay away from, like, the... Hello, and... It's nice to see you. Like, one-line dialogue responses. Like, you know, the, the, the one-line responses will have something to say about, like, the environment. Or you... Or something like that. Like they'll be worth your time, but uh, they won't all be. Uh, you won't always have the option. Like they won't always be a conversation. Sometimes it'll just be that they'll, they'll say something. Yeah, we did want to like avoid the whole. You know, like the uh, usual RPGs where it's like hello, and then you go back to the same tree, or uh, mm-hmm. like you know, like so you just exhaust all options from the tree. And Is there something yeah, this- you need? Yeah. Tell me about your brother. My brother is a complicated man. Tell me about complicated men. <laughs> 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 well, he gave me five dollars, but then he punched a baby, so he's morally neutral, I think. <laughs> I'm done talking about your brother. Yeah. Is there anything you need? Uh, yes, yeah, so Ali Tiger Z6 asks us, uh, can you just talk to anyone, or does there have to be a purpose? You can talk to a lot of people. Like there doesn't have to be like, like a purpose as such. Like we will have, have lots of side conversations and all. But yeah, at the moment they're not accessible. But like that comes in the later phases once the main quest is all mapped That's out. That's a fairly late priority. Yeah. At the moment, our uh, priorities are to get the main quests all done, because like the side quests have to comp- like complement the main. Story. So if we start adding side stuff right now, and then later it turns out that you know some details have to change, or like the like some parts of the level needs to be redesigned or whatever, then it becomes kind of complicated, and you suddenly you have to like you have wasted a lot of work. So we don't want to do that. Uh, will the one-liners be floating text above characters? Yeah, we can have that. Like there's no real uh, like. Thing. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. Like, like if there's usually like some one-liner stuff, like you know, like uh, go away or like yeah, I'm done talking. Then we might have to, yeah, then we can just have the floating text above these people. But like if there's a big conversation and everything, then we can have the dialogue boxes. So we'll have a bit of both, I think. Oh yeah, and also yeah, there's this new player sprite which you might, which which I'm controlling right now. That's the second playable character of the game. Will the one-liners be floating text above characters? You know, it just might be. <laughs> that actually gives me an idea, uh, not the floating text. The oh, conversations yeah. and like also <laughs> yeah, we have uh, like programming updates and such. Yeah, we have controller support in game now. So yeah, so for the yeah. people who like to play on controllers, I mean I'm not saying that that you know like uh, it's hundred percent, but it's like ninety nine percent done. So like it's just that bit of it, polish that's left. It's already better than like 
I'd say 75% of the games I've started to play with a controller recently, which don't even have any configuration options. I'm just assume I'm using an Xbox 360 one. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't have Rumble on yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a re you, you answered all the conversation options in the ideal form. <laughs> controller vibrates to reward you. <laughs> All I was almost going to say, um, we sync the, the lip motions to the vibrating of the controller because rumble is emotions. <laughs> I thought, oh, uh, I was about to say polygon is emotions, but I guess we don't have any polygons. <laughs> Shit. No, actually, we do so have a lot of polygons. Pixels like, is emotions. Yeah, I just, I just enabled all these polygons. We are there. There are a lot of polygons in this game. We just, if, if a really emotional conversation is happening, it just uh, summons it. one of those uh, 3D Microsoft mazes. Oh, I thought you were going to say it zooms in like an old King's Quest game and they have a horrifying pixelated rendering of their face talking to you. <laughs> so emotion. <laughs> Man, I'm just so happy that collisions, like I, I did those collision stuff because yeah, at one point I was like tearing my hair apart. From the collision algorithms, but yeah, now it, now it feels pretty solid. So yeah, I was there at that point. It was pretty amusing. Yeah, it feels just so much better now. Like at least it's a relief for me because I was like beginning to question my worth as a like functioning member of society. I am. 